What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be doing some more on the Mototech. Plan is to mount the controller, make some like standoffs or something. Uh, whatever I could do to bolt that thing down, I'll show you here in a minute where it's going to sit and a little bit of the idea. Uh, the next thing we had to do is kind of finish up the subframe back there, make it a little bit more rigid. Uh, we need to extend out some little side pieces. Here, let me show you guys what we got going on here. So yeah, we need to finish the subframe. I need to make some little arms or something to come down to make these solid on the sides right here. Uh, right now I'm working on the controller. So this is going to be its spot right here. Uh, fits in perfect under the little gas gas tank cover deal and um, zoom out a little bit. So I plan on making these little standoffs here. See that's kind of just sitting there right now. Uh, weld this down and then put like a piece of thin strap all the way across it for it to sit flush. Probably something similar with this as well. Um, I also need something to come like up and around and be able to hook under the seat. That way I can keep this from being floppy like that. You can see the rest of it's nice and solid, so we definitely need to do something about this, kind of clean it up. But uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, weld these little standoffs on and put a little piece of strapping across, so something like this. That way it'll kind of poke out and we can bolt it on these little tabs so the strap will run straight across. We'll have another standoff over here, strap will come out and we'll bolt that down. Probably gonna cut away a lot of this so I can run the positive and negative, loop them straight down. That way they'll come out from under here somewhere. Um, I kinda gotta route my wiring carefully because a lot of this you'll be able to see through the plastics and I don't want a whole bunch of you know messy wiring and stuff in there. So a lot of it would probably like run down and through here. Uh, we'll have to figure out something with the phase wires. Obviously that's gonna be later on. Today we're just gonna focus on kind of finishing up as much of the uh, fabrication as we can as far as the subframe, the controller mount, and um, kind of get everything solid. I really wanna like throw the bars on, sit on it, and uh, <laughs> I don't know, kind of roll it around. It just looks super cool. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and weld those little standoffs on, uh, put my little strap across it, drill some holes, and then we'll figure out what to do with the backside. And then I'll bring you back and kind of show you what I did. I know explaining it doesn't really give you guys a good idea, but like I said, I'll bring you back, I'll show you what I did, and we'll continue on. So like I said, got two little standoffs right there and then the flat bar across and then I'll drill some little holes on the side right here once this thing cools down, can't really touch it yet. And then uh, that'll be the front part of the mount. And then from there, I'm gonna eyeball it, kind of figure out where I want it in the back. But uh, first thing I'll do is I'll get this all finished up and then I'll bolt the controller down. And then from there, I'll figure out, you know, exactly what pieces I need to cut or what I need to do for the back side of the controller. Cool. So let me go ahead and figure this out. Real quick, I just wanted to kind of check fitment, make sure everything went on and didn't run into the controller. So I kind of just have this sitting here by hand. So I'll pull the cap out. And it went in a little crooked, not going to lie, but uh, it's not hitting anything. All the plastics still line up pretty good. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Go down here, and then uh, you can see these little flaps for the plastics right here, and then it's a little shiny piece right here. Um, the controller actually like slides right over that, so that's pretty cool. Um, now the one thing I was thinking of is I didn't really want to make anything right here, but I think I might have to, so I'll probably just do some standoffs right here as well. Which I mean isn't really a big deal have like a piece sitting right here see if I can you know obviously it won't be that long and it'll be cut off flush with that and then sit something like that yeah it might not look terrible I mean no one's really looking through here but uh, yeah so pretty happy with how it's going so far we'll go ahead and finish this up get this thing mounted completely and um, yeah basically from there I got to figure out how I'm going to get a seat hook over there. I think I'm gonna to have to make it like a bolt off, like start from here, bend it up and around, 
go down into here. Um, I'm just not too sure. It would help bridging up like all of this right here too. Because uh, even with the, the little cap that I took off, it's still kind of flimsy right here. You know, with the seat hook coming down and kind of supporting all this, should make this nice and solid with the back here. Cool, cool. I'm stoked how, uh, not easy, but it's it's going together pretty smooth, so I'm pretty stoked about it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get back to it. I went ahead and said, screw it, let's just do some more standoffs. So as you can see, we got this all welded up right here. Another flat bar right across. Definitely ain't pretty, so I might think of like a, uh, like a little plate or something to cover these up. Like I was saying in the last clip, you can kind of see through all this right here. Not a big deal though. But uh, yeah, so that should be super solid. Let me go ahead and throw the controller on. Done and done. Yeah, that's solid as hell. So I did end up drilling the tabs out a little bit more. I could only stick like an M3 through there. And I wanted to get these M5s down there since I had four of them with nuts. Um, so yeah, hopefully a little bit sturdier instead of the skinny M3s. Uh, it wasn't a big deal. It just drilled out slightly above. Uh, like I said, I went ahead and cut this off. And now I can run my battery wire straight down. That way when I have my battery mounted. And I'll have my uh, QS8 sticking out the bottom like so. But yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, figure out all this stuff. will kind of just run down the side. Maybe loop through here as well. And uh, same with all this stuff. This can go down in there. Kind of tuck it all the way. That way we're not seeing any wires popping out. Hopefully. But uh, yeah, so now i got to figure out how I'm going to make a little hook for this, have something like come around. I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, scratch my brain on that for a little bit, throw the uh, side panels back on, make sure everything fits, of course. I'm pretty positive it all does, but um, yeah, everything's coming together really good. I'd say that fitment's pretty damn good. Um, I really can't squish it against it anymore, to be honest with you. But uh, it's getting a little later now. It's hard to tell, but um, a lot of head scratching and I finally was able to figure out a way to get the hook going. Uh, basically all I did was make a little clamp to go around the controller. And then this is welded to the little bar right here. Um, I'll go ahead and take it down a little bit more. I still have to finish welding this and probably point it down a little bit more. Try to get it a little bit more squished. But yeah guys, I'm so freaking excited. Like look at these little things. They go in perfect. Keep that nice and tight. And then this thing that goes around the controller hooks right under there. And of course we got our two little tabs that hook down in there. And then of course our nuts line up on the back of the hooks right there. So I mean, this thing should not fall apart at all. I'm pretty excited. But yeah, let me go ahead and take all these plastics off and then I'll kind of show you a little bit more up close what I did for the little controller latch thingy, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, I'm getting tired and it's getting late, so we'll probably, I'll finish welding it and then we'll end the video off on that. All right, before I take it too far apart. So as you can see, we got our little tabs on the end. It bends up, bends back, goes across, does the same thing, bends down, bends out into a tab. And then I uh, actually did cut that. Well, I made it a little bit too short. So these sides weren't, um, I was like bowing out. So I had to cut it in half. But I can kind of show you, here's what's on the bottom. So that's just right on the bottom of the controller. And then we got a nut and a bolt right there. And it just kind of grabs around the controller. And then I got my little tab piece. Uh, it's just tacked on there for right now. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna pull this off, weld it nice and tight, and then from there I can kind of bend this as I need to to get the flap kind of tighter to the plastics. But as it sits right now, that's pretty damn good. Cool deal. Let me pull this off, weld it, slap it back on, put the plastics back on for the millionth time, do another check, 
And then, uh, yeah, aside from doing the little bars or the little arms down here to keep the sides from being too floppy, we're pretty much done. Oh yeah, I, I do gotta brace this still. So maybe we'll do another video on that uh, next week. Not 100% sure, I might just go ahead and do it, depending on how these videos do. This is off, now you can kind of get a good look at it. So like I said, just uh, box it around the controller, bolts down there, and attempt to not scratch the shit out of the controller. We got some uh, sticky foam padding right there. But yeah, easy enough. You know, I was going to like try to freaking bend some tube around or do something goofy like that, or have something come up and around and bolt, and then bolt down to these. And I was like, you know what? This controller is so freaking locked on there. We might as well, because all we're really doing is just holding that little flap down, kind of rigiding up the, uh, you know, where the seat touches the gas tank. But yeah, pretty easy stuff. Pretty stoked with that. Um, now that everything's finished welded, got it all grinded pretty. I'll go ahead, put this on, and uh, yeah, I mean, from there, basically we're done with the plastics other than like I said we got a you know I've said this like 10 times already but bracing this putting the little arms on there and um, from there yeah pretty much I'm gonna have to take it apart again and rewire this all this stuff and uh, give you guys a video so we'll wire in the flip ski we're gonna do the little keyless start uh, 12 volt all the way out through so I mean we got blinkers we got uh, headlight we got tail light all that good stuff so look forward to that as well but uh yeah so I'll go ahead and i'll put this all together and then we'll end off this video here oh yeah she's fitting good good gap right there sucked down nice and tight all the lines look good right here all the lines look good right here pretty solid I mean the seat itself it's not even bolted down and this thing is absolutely solid and you can pop it off like that and then it slides on decently easy I don't know if I could do it with one hand to be honest with you but uh, let's see nope definitely not but yeah guys pretty sick I'm in love with it for sure all right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Had a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be back for a, I guess, part three, we'll call it, as far as the fabrication goes. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.